Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Kenny. It's a beautiful day here folks. It's beautiful. It's about 80, maybe 85 degrees. It's slightly overcast, but we like it that way. The humidity is not too bad. And as you can probably tell, we are on top of our pool deck. And I want to show you today how you can really create a vacuum cleaner to clean the bottom of your pool. Now, most vacuum cleaners, or let me put it this way, most pools that you buy today, uh, they've got a, a vacuum cleaner, some of them do to a degree, but their performance is really, really poor. And on top of that, they are really pricey. I mean, they are pricey. And since this pandemic, uh, tons and tons of things like pool supplies and swimming pools themselves has really, really gotten expensive to buy. But I can show you how you can create one for less than a hundred bucks and, and really do a great, fantastic job. So you hang around and we're gonna show you how to fix a, a pool vac. And I'm pretty sure that if you watch carefully, you would say, okay, I think I can do that. Okay, folks, we are at, a, at our pool. And I'm gonna tell you, this is a pool day. This is my little girl's uh, jumping platform. She loves to jump. And as you can see, my water is relatively clear. This is an above ground swimming pool. It's a, uh, it's 16 by 32. And what I want to show you today is this. For those of you that follow my videos, you know by now that I like to create things. Folks, you've got to be a little creative in this life if you want to really uh, uh, do things and do them the right way. Nothing wrong with being creative. But some of you that follow my videos, you know that I uh, use a sump pump to uh, pump the water that goes through my solar system that's actually at work right now, heating and keeping my pool very, very warm. But I've got another one of those pumps and I wanna show you today how you can transform a simple old sump pump, which this one just happens to be new. I've only used it for a short time. But keep in mind, folks, one thing I said before, uh, pool supplies and pumps and pools themselves and accessories have really, really shot through the roof. But this one here costs less than a hundred bucks. And I have put this sump pump, it's a quarter horsepower sump pump. It's used primarily for taking water out of a basement but I have put it on a pole. Now, this thing weighs approximately eight, 10, maybe 12 pounds, maybe more, I'm not sure. I have not weighed it, but I've got it on about a, I wanna say about a 12 or 14 foot pole. Now this right here is the filter. As you can see on top of it, I've got my hand on it. That filter came off of a Pool Blaster Max, which incidentally, we don't use anymore. I bought one of those things three years ago, and after the first year, I actually had to quit using it because we attempted the second year to uh, use it, and the battery was dead, okay? And we tried to charge it. Nope, would not work. So we pretty much just discarded it. But this is the bag that came out of the Pool Blaster Max. And that's what I'm using. I've got about a foot of water hose here 
Incidentally, this entire thing is submerged in water. Now, let me show you here how I did it. The first thing I did was I took the little tiny screen off of the bottom of it. Now, if you are uh, if you are a owner of a swimming pool, one of the toughest toughest substances that I have ever tried to clear or clean from the bottom of the pool is sand. And by looking at this, you're going to say, "Well, that guy really come on. You can't be serious. Come on, you can't be serious." Make a vacuum cleaner out of a sump pump? Uh, yeah. That's what this thing... Listen, I, have, I know this thing works, and I'm going to show you how it works in just a few minutes. Keep in mind, this thing is AC. That means, of course, that it has got a cord. This cord on this thing is about 10 feet long. And you don't want to submerge your cord down into water although the cord would be fine because it's made for that purpose to be submerged down in water but your extension cord is not so that's what we want to make sure that of course we don't do is get the extension cord submerged in water but let's let's try this i want to show you how it works let me show you my pool i just did briefly but i want to show you that we had a little accident about a week ago. Our uh, sand filter got kind of uh, deactivated, if you will. It got clogged up. It really got clogged up and it shot a ton of sand right out of my pool, right onto the bottom. And that's where your pool, that's where the sand is gonna go. Immediately, if you get, some uh, sand that gets reversed back into your pool, it's gonna go immediately to the bottom. And that's exactly where, where mine went to. But I've got most of it already sucked out, but there are still some left. So I wanna show you how this thing will actually suck the sand right out of the pool. And most vacuum cleaners will suck up debris. Some of the ones that are in in-ground pools, some of the in-ground pools, they have a little bit better vacuum system than the above-ground ones. But the above-ground ones, for the most part, they are they're virtually the same. They just don't have a lot of power to suck up sand. But this thing will do it. And I want to show you that. So you can see probably, I don't know if you can spot it with the camera. I'm about a foot, foot off the... Uh, uh, ladder here and uh, it might not pick it up but I want to show you how it works okay folks I'm going to show you how this homemade vacuum cleaner works first we're going to plug it in now this thing is super quiet you cannot hardly hear it run because it's underwater and let me listen folks. I do not want to Do any product of any kind Makes no difference who they are or what it is that they sell their product. I do not want to Kind of bash them if you will but these days most of your products are manufactured in places that well, they're cheap made and most of your vacuum cleaners are pretty much made of plastic. And that one particular one that I uh, purchased, I, I got this Pool Blaster Max about three years ago. Now you can see my, my vacuum cleaner out there. I'm getting that sand. But that Pool Blaster Max, I paid a hundred and fifty dollars for that thing about three years ago and like i said i've had it three years and we just virtually just pretty much tossed it except you know of course we stored it away we put it up on a shelf and never never did ever, never did use it again because well we tried to order the battery for it 
because the battery would not hold a charge. It actually would not charge up at all. So we tried to order the battery, but the battery was almost as expensive as the vacuum cleaner itself. Okay, there goes a the little floater. We'll get him out of the way here. So I'm using this bag that came from the Pool Blaster Max. I've got it tied on that. Now, I'd like to get you a closer close-up shot, and I could actually, if you can see that, I doubt if you can, you could, if I had a close-up shot of that, I don't know if this camera would take this salt water. This is salt water, but you could actually see it just sucking that sand right up into that bag. I can see it here, but I'm sure the camera cannot pick it up. Folks, the old saying is, you get what you pay for. That's exactly what happened with me. But I, I will go a little farther with that Pool Blaster Max. You can see I, there was a couple of frogs got into my pool last night, folks. We got a good shower and they got happy and they said it's party time. So they, they crawled up into my pool and they kind of slimed the top of it a little bit. You can probably see the eggs floating around. I got most of those and I missed a few of them. But I went to buy, I went to, I actually looked at a, a Pool Blaster Max on Amazon. Remember I, I paid $150 for it three years ago? Okay, what do you think it is now? What do you think it is now? Well, I'll tell you, it's almost 300 big ones. That is how much those things have accelerated in price. This thing, I've got hit on a pole. I've got it established on there. And I can tell you that it is there to stay. Now you can see my long cord. And this thing is about 12 feet long, maybe 14. I can reach over there, way over there on the end, and I can just move it around, and I can get all of that sand. Now that sand is so difficult, like I said earlier, to pick up, but this thing picks it up. Now if it'll pick up the sand, you know it's gonna pick up the dirt and the grime that every pool owner thrives to get out of their pool and has a lot of trouble doing it with today's vacuum cleaners. But I'm getting this spot right here, very close, and I'm showing you, if you can see it, how it is picking that up. Notice that filter, it looks like it's getting full because it only holds about a, I wanna say about a pint. It might hold a pint. It'd be pre hard pressed if it does. But down here to my ladder, you can see down here, if I could get a shot of it, where this, all of this sand has settled right around this ladder. A lot of it has, and you can see my big foot. Uh, let me get those bubbles. Okay, down there, if you can see that, notice that. It's going, going, gone. Now this right here that you see, that is a stain that will not go away. It's on my liner. It's on my liner. The point of all of this is, folks, I'm going to say this very briefly. You don't have to spend a lot of money for a vacuum cleaner for your pool if you will simply be a little creative. Be a little creative. Be a little daring and try something new. I mean, Lord, you never, never learn anything about how to create something unless you try. 
You've got to try. You've got to try. So I think this filter is getting pretty much full. I have vacuumed probably about, oh, just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just enough here to give you an idea as to how this thing works. So I'm going to take the filter out here in a minute. And I'm going to show you what the contents are inside that filter. This thing glides right across the top of your, right across the floor of your pool. It glides very easy. You don't have to use a lot of force to maneuver this across your pool because it simply works so much better than anything I have ever tried. Let me get that spot right there. Now we are getting ready to show you what's in that bag. And I guarantee you that what's in that bag will shock you, okay? Now, okay, folks, we are, we have got this vacuum cleaner out of the water. And we are going to show you what's inside the bag. You've heard the old saying, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is going to be inside this little bag of what it does. Now I've got a, uh, I've got a clamp around the top of this little small hose. Oh my God. Can you see that sand? Look, it's all around the top. Look, look at that. It's all around the top of that hose. Now that, that, that little clamp is there to keep my hose from coming off. Now I've got the, I've got the bag off. Now I'm gonna show you what's inside the bag. You may not be able to see that because the glare of the sun is really hard. But let me turn the bag up and show you what's inside the bag. Look at that. That bag was full of sand. Look at that. That bag is full of gritty sand. Look. Now, folks, don't, don't, don't uh, lash out at me and say this guy is crazy. It's very easy to bash a guy, but I'm not not trying to be a bright boy here. I'm just trying to show you that many of you that buy these expensive vacuum cleaners, you're getting ripped off because they won't suck that sand up out of that pool. They won't do it. But this little tiny quarter horsepower sump pump will. I mean it will. This little tiny sump pump will. Now I've got to clean this bag. I've got to clean the bag, wash it out, and I've got just a little bit more left to get out of the pool. But I can tell you folks, this thing works. And it's so easy to make. See, I've got it on a pole. You can see the pole. You can see my shadow too. I've got it on a pole. It's about 12 feet long and I'm telling you this thing it works it's a submersible thermoplastic utility pump in short it's a sump pump but it is a great great vacuum cleaner for your pool that is exactly what the doctor ordered so now if I may tell you, I'm getting ready to hit the swimming pool. It's a little hot and it's a little sweaty. I'm sweaty for doing this, but I'm going to take, when the shade goes over, I'm going to finish up the job and get the rest of the sand out. But I got one little bit more thing to show you before this video ends, okay? Take a look at this. Right here 
is a another session if I may say so that came out of my pool I took that out yesterday that came out of my pool I don't know how many bags they are of it but see when your pool messes up your sand filter when it messes up sometimes it'll either have a broken lateral or that lateral lateral will be cracked and it will let the sand go right back into your pool that's how it happens your lateral becomes broken or damaged and that's what has happened here but fortunately for me i only had to take it out and really thoroughly clean it my lateral was not broken and i am grateful for that but that's how effective this thing is on sand and if it work on sand you know it's going to work on everything else so i appreciate you this afternoon I appreciate you watching our videos and if you like this video why don't you click on the like button for us I certainly would appreciate it and subscribe to the channel and as always you have a blessed day and we'll talk